In this module, we will be discussing one-way analysis of variance, otherwise known as ANOVA. This particular analysis can be used to test the difference between two or more means in one single test. So in one-way ANOVA, the subjects are only classified in one way and influenced by a single factor. In saying that with this test, the total variation is broken down into subunits. The first one, measuring between the sample means, and the second measurement is within the sampled population. This test is used to test the hypothesis that several means are different, and we're going to go ahead and begin working with this particular analysis by opening up a second data file. But before we do that, let's take a look at our hypothesis. For a real life scenario, we're going to play the role of a aquamarine scientist. In order for us to create an underwater sensor array, four different alloys are purchased and tested for corrosion resistance. Five plates of each type of alloy are placed underwater for a total of 60 days. After that final 60th day, the alloys were lifted and the corrosion pits on each one of the plates were measured. So our research question states, which of the alloys tested would be appropriate for creating an underwater sensor array? For this research question, our null hypothesis states, the four alloys exhibit the same kind of behavior and are not different from one another. Our alternative hypothesis states, the four alloys are different and do not exhibit the same kind of behavior. Ensure you have the alloy.sav file open. And to begin running this test, click on the Analyze menu. Select Compare Means. Then click on One-Way ANOVA. In the One-Way ANOVA dialog box, select the PITS variable. Transfer that variable to the Dependent List text box. Then select the alloy variable and transfer it to the factor list box. Before we complete and run the test, let's select the options button in the upper right hand corner of the dialog box. Select the descriptive text box. Select the means plot text box. Click the continue button. And finally, select the OK button to run your analysis. In your output viewer, scroll down to your ANOVA table so you can take a look at your significance value. The descriptive table provides you statistics on a number of different options. For instance, it shows you how many of each type of alloy you use with the N as well as it provides you your standard deviation and your standard error for each one of the alloys. Also, it provides the mean number of corrosion pits on each one of the plates or alloys. Recall that our null hypothesis is that the four alloys exhibit the same kind of behavior and are not different from one another. Our alternative hypothesis states the four alloys are different and do not exhibit the same behavior. Our 0 0.000 is way less than our 0 0.05 threshold, and in saying that, the null hypothesis can be rejected, and we can conclude that the alloys are indeed different. So now that we know that they're different, maybe we would like to know or find out which one of the alloys are the most favorable to complete our underwater experiment. For those of you all who are visual learners like myself, the means plot makes it easier for you guys to take a look at the difference and compare um, the different corrosion pits for each one of the alloys. It places them on a plot and compares them side by side, and it makes it easier for you guys to see firsthand exactly which one has the most and which one has the least number of corrosion pits. 